Hello and welcome. Today, I'm bringing you something I think you'll find really interesting. The mysterious death of Marilyn Monroe. And I'm going to tell you how I got there, okay? Um, I've been out to Los Angeles, so I'm kind of really interested in the West Coast. You know, the history, the old Hollywood history. But somehow in my surfing, I ended up at the Cal Neva Lodge. And I'm like, what is this? Frank Sinatra owned the Cal Neva Lodge. Now the Cal Neva sits on the border of California and Nevada. Part of it's in California, part of it is in Nevada. It's North Lake Tahoe. It's sitting on Lake Tahoe at the very north end. I found out that Marilyn spent her last weekend there. Frank Sinatra had blown her up to the Cal Neva. She had a cabin there. I'm going to show you some pictures. Um, she was there the 28th and the 29th of July. And they claimed that she was alive August 4th at her home and declared dead on August 5th. But from all accounts, from what I have read, and I'm sure you've studied it too, um, she was going back to finish the last movie, uh, Something's Got to Give, and she was really excited about her life. So I just don't think that she committed suicide. And here's why. She was very involved with John Kennedy, John Kennedy dumped her and Robert Kennedy took over and just a lot of stuff there. She was, she was bumping shoulders with some very shady people at the Cal Neva, but she was about to go public with something on the Kennedys. I don't know what it was unless it was just her affairs or whatever, but we all know that John Kennedy did have affairs. But I believe that she was murdered. I'm going to show you some pictures. Um, but sadly, um, John F. met the same fate. And so did Robert, his brother, over at the um, Ambassador Hotel. So let's see. Let's see what we've got going on here. I, I think you'll find this very interesting. I don't have all the story, but I have most of it. So here we go. This is the Cal Neva Casino and Resort. It is located North Lake Tahoe, and it straddles the border of Nevada and California. This is the pool, and this is the fireplace. Now, Frank Sinatra had flown her up there for the weekend of July 28th and 29th. This is the Rat Pack, the infamous Rat Pack. And these are the underground tunnels that went from the casino to the private cabins there. And Marilyn had a private cabin there. This was her cabin, which faced Lake Tahoe. Beautiful. And this is where she stayed. Now, this is the room, but I think they've replaced everything. But this very well could be where she spent her last night. She was very happy. Um, and she was looking forward to a lot of things. And I just don't buy the suicide. I mean, Frank Sinatra blew her up there. But where's, where's the record of her coming back? She was there Saturday and Sunday. And then the next Saturday, she was pronounced dead. But she was rubbing shoulders with some really shady characters. One of them I don't have in here, but he was in the mob. Now, this is her with John F. Kennedy and Robert F. Kennedy, who both had ditched her, and she was about to go public. Now, there might be some more things that you could find about it. I made some notes. Um... Evil is just not running wild today, but it has been since the beginning of time. 
Now, the weekend before Marilyn Monroe was found dead in her home on August 5th, 1962, she was rubbing shoulders with a lot of mobsters at the Cal Nevo. Um, her last weekend was spent at the Cal Nevo. And um, as you saw, it borders California and Nevada line. Okay. Marilyn had just been dumped by John Kennedy and uh, was involved with Robert Kennedy. Marilyn uh, was about to go public, I think, with the affairs, or she might have had some other kind of information. This is something we probably never will know. At any rate, some felt the info was too damaging to allow Marilyn to live. Frank Sinatra owned the Cal Nemo at that time and had flown Marilyn to the resort on his private plane. To this day, no one knows how she got back to her home. Now, in the accounts, autopsy, also her maid. I mean, as we know, evil has just been around ever since the beginning of time. And people could have been paid large sums of money. As a matter of fact, in the autopsy, they were talking about how she was on her stomach and she had like discoloration. You know, that's from the blood going down into the stomach. Now, some some of the reports that I have read um, is that she was passed around at the Cal Neva and used. Now, I don't know that, but I do know that it's very shady what happened. Um, one of the mobsters, Sam, somebody, you can look it up. But I wanted to get this done because a lot of people don't know that she was at the Cal Neva and the things that were going on there about the tunnels. And the tunnels had copper wiring so they could, you know, not pick up any signals or anything from the people. So, yeah, it's just it's just too close for comfort for me. I think now this is my belief after I found the Cal Neva. And I looked into her death a little bit more. I do believe that she was murdered in that bungalow. And I believe at some point her body was driven to her Brentwood home where she was meticulously placed in that position with all these empty pill bottles, which, by the way, she had none of those pills in her stomach. It was just too staged for me. And here is her housekeeper giving an account of what, you know, we don't know what happened. And, you know, it was behind closed doors. And, of course, money does buy off a lot of people. So that's my take on it. And sadly... John F. was assassinated. Robert Kennedy was killed at the ambassador in Los Angeles after a campaign speech. And Marilyn was the first one bumped up. There was something going on there. Very, very shady. Very shady indeed.